Hello again my friends, so I've been doing a little bit of reading in my spare time. The subject matter, well destiny of course, I mean what else would it be? Now the latest editions of Edge and official PlayStation magazine revealed a few insights into Destiny 2 and that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video. Now according to Edge magazine, it's an open industry secret that Destiny 2 was originally meant to launch in fall 2016. Now for whatever reason, this was pushed back to 2017 with Rise of Iron taking its place and Luke Smith leading the development on Destiny 2. In fact, during Activision's August earnings report, it was revealed that the majority of the team at Bungie Studio was focused entirely on creating Destiny 2. Now, unsurprisingly, Bungie has yet to reveal any specific details regarding this sequel, and so speculation about how the studio will expand Destiny's universe is rife. Fans and journalists alike all have their own theories about what Bungie is cooking up for Destiny 2. Will this sequel be a completely fresh start, resetting light levels to zero, leaving behind the armor, weapons, exotics, emblems and shaders that players have accumulated over the years, and inviting guardians to venture further out into space to discover new planets, new enemies and new social spaces? Or will Destiny 2 be the mother of all expansions, allowing players to port over existing gear, build on their current light levels, revisit planets and delve even further into the game's existing lore? Or perhaps Bungie will hit a sweet spot somewhere in the middle, allowing certain items like emblems, shaders and perhaps even some exotics to carry over, giving veteran players a sense of progression and bragging rights, while somehow still igniting that sense of wonder and awe that only a completely new adventure can provide. For hardcore Destiny fans like myself, Destiny 2 is perhaps one of gaming's most exciting mysteries. Just how exactly is Bungie going to pull this off? Now, the latest edition of PlayStation Official Magazine teases Destiny's future. Bigger changes are coming. 2017 will bring Destiny 2. When the magazine asked the studio how significant this sequel will be, Bungie replied by saying, the larger the release, the more disruptive the changes you can do. Now, I've got to say, I find Bungie's choice of words here really interesting. Disruptive changes. This certainly hints at a sequel that's not scared to break away from what's gone before it and forge its own path. It seems then that something bigger is indeed on the way. But for now, at least, Bungie's secret is safe. Now, I was curious to see what you guys wanted from Destiny 2, so I created a simple poll to get a general idea. The question was, what are your hopes for Destiny 2? The options, a completely fresh start, or I want all my old stuff. Now, within five hours, over 7,000 of you voted, and rather fascinatingly, the votes were pretty much exactly even, which just goes to show that Bungie is going to have a tough time pleasing everyone. Half of you guys were like, who would want a fresh start after we worked so hard for all our gear? While the other half of you were like, it's a new game. I want new things. I want the old grind back like when I first started playing Destiny. Now, what are my thoughts about this? Well, to be honest, I actually really like the idea of a fresh start with completely new weapons and armor, new class new subclasses, new planets, and new enemies, all built from the ground up. Having said that, I'd also love to be able to bring all my rare shaders and emblems with me too, something to remind me of my past adventures, and of course, to brag about to noobs. And the more I think about it, it would also be pretty cool to have older enemies and some of the more iconic exotics make a return. Like I said before, pleasing everyone is going to be really hard. We all have our own ideas for how we'd like Destiny 2 to continue our adventures. Now, I've left a link to my Twitter poll in the description box below so you can cast your own vote. Or you can let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. And guys, one more thing before I go. If you'd like to find out how to glitch into the Cabal Armory on Phobos, click the word glitch on screen or follow the link that you'll find in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for daily Destiny content. And thank you so much for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, hey, 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 until next time, Guardians.